It says Tom enlists the help of his friend to move his car. Now they're going to move a car by having one friend on one side. And then it looks like another friend's going to be on the other side. And they're going to push on the car in those directions of those forces. Where F1 is 421 newtons. F2 is 338 newtons. We'll assume no friction and no other forces. Uh, the mass of the car is 3,500 kilograms. Theta 1 is negative 25 degrees, and theta 2 is 12 degrees. All right, so we've got our positive x direction this way. The forces are not now aligned with the x and y axes, so you want to get them to be aligned by creating the components first. That's always like the first thing to do. So we'll break down F2 into a horizontal and vertical, which would be F2X and F2Y. And you just want to do the same thing for F1. We'll have F1X and F1. One y. So those components have formulas. So f one x will be f one cos theta one. F one y will be f one sine theta one. We'll also want f two x. The x component goes with cosine, and f two y will go with sine. All right, so let's plug in. F1 was 421, and then we'll do cosine of negative 25. Here we'll have 421 sine negative 25. For F2, the magnitude is 338, so you want to plug that in. All right, let me get all those numbers. So next, you'd want to sum the x's and the y's. So the sum of fx will be 381.6 plus 330.6, which is 712.2. And then for your sum of the forces in the y direction, you'd have negative 177.9 plus 70.3 which makes 107.6. Now that you have the components of the net force, you know what, they, what the meaning of that is, is you got one force pointing up and to the right, you got another force pointing down and to the right, so if you were to take the lower vector and put its tail on the head of the other upper vector, or if you were to take the upper vector and put its tail on the head of the lower vector, they would point to a new location. And if you combine them two, you get the result, which is the net force. And that's what we're trying to find is what are the coordinates of that net force, what are its components. So your F net then is equal to 
comma negative 107.6 Then you just want the magnitude. You want the magnitude and direction. So the magnitude will be the square root of the squares of the components. All right, for me, I get 720 newtons. Uh, then you want the reference angle which is the tan inverse of your y component over your x component all right that comes out to 8.59 degrees but i can tell from my components they were pointing in quadrant four. We're pointing over and down. So that means we want to use the formula that theta in standard position will be 360 minus beta. Which is either negative 8.59 or 351.4 degrees.